Hey there, science fans! Today we're diving into the fascinating world of explosives, specifically TNT. TNT, short for trinitrotoluene, is a powerful chemical compound known for its explosive properties. It has played a significant role in various fields from construction and mining to, unfortunately, warfare. Making TNT is a complex process that requires careful precision, controlled environments, and a deep understanding of chemistry. In this exploration of TNT production, we'll journey through each step of the manufacturing process, from the initial mixing of raw materials to the final shaping of this explosive compound. So, buckle up science enthusiasts, as we embark on an explosive adventure into the world of TNT production. Before we can delve into the intricacies of creating TNT, we need to understand the raw materials that form its foundation. First on our list is sulfur, a bright yellow element found in volcanic regions and essential for its reactive properties. Sulfur readily reacts with other elements making it a key component in the production of explosives. Next, we have charcoal, a lightweight black residue produced by heating wood in the absence of oxygen. Charcoal serves as a fuel source in the TNT manufacturing process, our third ingredient, nitric acid, is a highly corrosive and toxic liquid. It acts as a powerful oxidizing agent, meaning it readily donates oxygen atoms during chemical reactions. Finally, we have toluene, a colorless liquid derived from petroleum. These four ingredients, each with its unique properties, form the building blocks of TNT. Now that we've gathered our ingredients, let's dive into the heart of TNT production, the nitration process. Nitration involves the introduction of nitro groups, NO2, into the toluene molecule. This process occurs in a stepwise manner, with toluene first being converted to mononitrotoluene, MNT, then denitrotoluene, DNT, and finally trinitrotoluene, TNT. Each step requires precise control of temperature and the concentration of reactants to ensure the desired product is formed. The nitration process is exothermic, meaning it releases heat. Therefore, maintaining a specific temperature range is crucial to prevent runaway reactions and ensure safety. During nitration, toluene reacts with nitric acid in the presence of sulfuric acid, which acts as a catalyst. Sulfuric acid also helps to remove water molecules produced during the reaction, further driving the nitration process forward. The nitration process is a delicate dance of chemistry, requiring precision, control, and a deep understanding of chemical reactions. Section 4, Safety First, Protecting Workers and the Environment. Producing a powerful explosive like TNT requires strict adherence to safety protocols. The chemicals involved, particularly nitric acid, are highly corrosive and pose significant risks to human health. To mitigate these risks, TNT production facilities are designed with numerous safety features. Workers handling the chemicals wear specialized protective gear, including gloves, goggles, and lab coats, to shield themselves from splashes and fumes. The facilities themselves are equipped with ventilation systems to remove any hazardous vapors and maintain a safe working environment. Overheating during the nitration process can lead to runaway reactions, potentially resulting in explosions. To prevent such disasters, sophisticated cooling systems are employed to maintain a stable temperature range within the reaction vessels. By prioritizing safety measures and adhering to strict protocols, TNT production can be carried out in a controlled and secure manner minimizing risks to both human life and the environment. Section 5. Purification and Crystallization Refining TNT to its Purest Form After the nitration process, the resulting mixture contains not only TNT but also impurities and byproducts from the chemical reactions. To obtain pure TNT, a series of purification steps are essential. The first step typically involves washing the crude TNT mixture with water to remove excess acids and soluble impurities. This washing process is carefully controlled to prevent the loss of TNT, which is slightly soluble in water. After washing the TNT is further purified through a process called crystallization. In the case of TNT the crude product is dissolved in a suitable solvent, and then the solution is slowly cooled. As the solution cools, the solubility of TNT decreases, causing it to crystallize out of the solution. The crystallized TNT is then separated from the remaining liquid, leaving behind a purer form of the explosive compound. The resulting purified TNT is a pale yellow crystalline solid. Section 6. Shaping TNT Precision and Expertise in Explosive Manufacturing 
Once the TNT has been purified and crystallized, it's time to shape it into its final form, ready for use. The shaping process is crucial, as the physical form of TNT can significantly impact its explosive properties. TNT can be molded into various shapes and sizes depending on its intended application. For example, TNT is often cast into blocks for use in demolition or shaped into cylindrical charges for artillery shells. One common method for shaping TNT is casting, where molten TNT is poured into molds and allowed to solidify. For more intricate forms, TNT can be pressed into molds using specialized equipment. Another shaping technique involves pressing powdered TNT into pellets or other desired shapes. The explosives experts responsible for this task are highly trained and skilled in handling such sensitive materials. Section 7. Handling with Care – The Importance of Safety Regulations TNT is a powerful explosive, and its handling, transportation and storage are subject to stringent regulations to prevent accidents and misuse. Government agencies typically regulate TNT production facilities, ensuring they meet strict safety and security standards. These regulations cover everything from the handling and storage of raw materials to the disposal of waste products. Storage facilities for TNT are designed with security in mind, often located in remote areas and equipped with advanced security systems to prevent unauthorized access. By adhering to these regulations, we can harness the power of TNT for its intended purposes while minimizing the risks associated with its explosive nature.